This is a roundup of everything that has happened last week in the world of technology and artificial intelligence. I'll simplify all the important announcements and their impact on us. This is your host Ansh Mehra and welcome to our weekly roundup at the Cutting Edge show. Today we'll break down Microsoft's latest AI PCs and recall feature that feels like Iron Man's Jarvis. Google changing the way businesses run Google Ads. Nvidia hitting a record revenue of 26 billion dollars. Amazon and Apple planning to rehaul Alexa and Siri and latest research by Anthropic that could finally protect us from the misuse of AI. There's a lot more to cover, so let's get started. On May 20th, we saw Microsoft announce a new series of AI PCs that will include never seen before AI features including something called Recall that almost feels like Jarvis. Right now, we speak to AI through prompts, but at the Microsoft event, Satya Nadella emphasized on using our world as a prompt for AI. It's exactly how you and I don't need text prompts to think, right? For us, the entire environment is a prompt. Now the first step towards a world as a prompt is giving AI access to our computer screens. To make this happen, Microsoft has introduced a new category of Windows PCs called Copilot Plus PCs. Earlier computers had a CPU and a GPU, but now all these AI PCs will have an NPU which is a neural processing unit. This NPU is what will run your AI locally on the computer. They've re-architected Windows 11 to make sure that these new PCs are faster than ever. The best demo was for Recall because it would literally see anything that you're working on and help you go back in time and even get feedback on whatever it is that you're doing. One of the dreams we've always had is how do we introduce memory, right? Photographic memory into what you do on the PC. And now we have it. So it's called Recall. It's not keyword search, right? It's semantic search over all your history. and it's not just about any doc it we can recreate moments from the past essentially here's how it works windows constantly takes screenshots of what's on your screen then uses a generative ai model right on the device along with the npu to process all that data and make it searchable even photos i got to try it out i searched brown weather bag it came up in visual search There's no place on this page that it says brown leather bag. It just knows because it sees this brown leather bag. There could be this reaction from some people that this is pretty creepy. Microsoft is taking screenshots of everything I do. Yeah, I mean that's why that it can only do it on the edge, right? So this is like, you know, you can't you have to put two things together. This is my computer. This is my recall uh and it's all being done locally right so that's the promise so that's one of the reasons why recall works as a magical thing because i can trust it watch this demo of a user playing minecraft with the help of copilot hey copilot how's it going hey i'm doing great and it looks like you're about to dive into some minecraft and now see how copilot is reacting with pure emotion when that zombie comes into the game oh my god what's that Oh no, it's a zombie. Run. You need to get away from it fast. Either sprint away or quickly build a tower of blocks straight up to get out of its reach. It's almost like having an expert friend helping you on call. They also revealed co-creator an AI that sketches with you. You can set filters and convert a rough sketch into a stunning portrait. Now, why is this important? The way we learn and work will change rapidly this year. Right now a lot of students and professionals are spending time learning how to execute whereas in reality they need to double down on ideation problem solving and communication skills you will no longer need to know how to design something from scratch or how to create complicated excel sheets you will be paid to know what to design or why are you designing it or what to calculate and why are you calculating a specific metric inside a sheet now with major companies like google and nvidia making investments into ai it is very clear that the job market is going to change forever most students chase big names 
but the truth is your income relies on three core components your ability to deliver and get things done your communication skills and access to the right kind of people most students do not get enough guidance from the generic curriculum that most colleges offer this is where newton school of technology comes into the picture they are providing a global btech degree in computer science and ai that includes curriculum designed by mang professionals this includes learning the fundamentals of coding from your first year itself and get access to ai workshops paid internships and personal mentorships with tech leaders that is why their students are able to get a lot more exposure in lesser time one of their students is representing india at the wikimedia hackathon europe while another has secured an internship in google school of code which is gsoc with a stipend of 1.25 lakh rupees so if you're interested in practical learning and industry level global exposure make sure you register for their entrance test nsat which is newton scholastic aptitude test before friday 31st of may you'll find the link in description now let's go back to the video nvidia has reported a record quarterly revenue of 26 billion dollars which is up 18% from quarter 4 of 2023 and up by 262% from just a year ago just to set some context in 2023 nvidia was not the biggest player in the market it had tough competitors like amd and intel But as soon as the AI wave started, everything changed for Nvidia. But how did this even happen? देखो, if you ever make an AI tool, you will need to train AI models. To train AI models, you need to buy GPUs. Nvidia GPUs are really good at training AI models. So in this AI gold rush, Nvidia is the one selling the shovels at scale. I would strongly recommend you to watch interviews of Mr. Jensen Huang, who's the co-founder of Nvidia. They will not only educate you but really inspire you. I'll put some links in description. Now, all of this competition amongst AI tools and chip companies will boost the GPU market, which in turn will boost our own timelines for achieving AGI. Therefore, it's equally important for us to get better at understanding how AI even works and prepare people around us to enter this new world because we don't want to build the world's most powerful GPUs and LLMs without full clarity on how we can control them. And with that, we come to the next big discovery we found this week. A new research paper has finally helped us get a deeper understanding of how LLMs and neural networks really work. For a very long time, LLMs were just too new for us. By the way, LLM stands for a large language model. They are the foundation of all AI tools. We've covered the basics in our free prompt engineering course. In case you're confused about LLMs or AI, you can always watch that video to clear your basics. Now, Anthropic, the company behind Claude AI, has released a research paper that showcases a technique for understanding how LLMs reach their conclusions. Basically, they are able to extract information on how LLMs create outputs. It's almost like having an alien land on earth. With this new research, we will now be able to do an MRI scan of its alien brain and figure out how it behaves in different situations. Now, why is this important? If this technique scales to bigger LLMs, we will finally have enough context to catch any potential misuse before these large models are released in public. There is a long way to go but at least we are beginning to understand how an LLM thinks which is a big step towards the safe use of AI models. Next, Amazon is planning to launch a new AI powered Alexa. In 2014, Alexa shocked everyone with its quick response times and natural sounding voice. But now, things are changing super fast. So it makes sense why Amazon would plan a rehaul. And I'm sure Apple will do the same with Siri. Both Alexa and Siri started as virtual assistants who relied heavily on rule-based systems and predefined commands which means there's a limitation to how they think a lot of it is predictable a tool like ChatGPT runs on a stronger architecture which is GPT that can understand more context and think on a much more nuanced level that is why OpenAI and Apple are partnering together for a big announcement Mark your calendars for June 10th because I'm pretty sure we will see a new AI powered Siri and iOS at their worldwide developers conference aka WWDC. Next, Google's new AI overview feature will soon include sponsored ads, opening up a whole new source of generating revenue from their Google Ads. 
Last week, I had uploaded a detailed overview of everything announced at Google I/O. One of the demos showcased a new feature of Google Search called the AI Overview. Basically, instead of getting links, Google will now give you an updated overview that will be very specific to what you ask for. So you no longer need to open links to get your answer. Now, moving forward, Google will soon test including ads inside these AI overviews. For a very long time. tools like perplexity had a lot of leverage because they could bring summarized results from updated links chat gpt could not do that and google didn't have ai but with ai overviews google would essentially do the same so it would start doing all the best parts that perplexity could do and also have a lot of intelligence because of its updated database and of course with ai it is at par with chat gpt4 now when this entire ai race started a lot of people said that chat gpt would kill google search because completely replacing normal links with something like perplexity would just have a big hit on the google ad revenues therefore by including ads inside this new ai overview google will fundamentally change how businesses integrate ads in the first place now as a user you will always see the sponsored label very clearly so the entire user experience is extremely transparent in fact google has released a detailed blog that includes a lot of updates around this entire field of google ads and marketing so there are a lot of new creative ways businesses would be able to run ads with gen ai this includes editing your product images with just a prompt replacing static images with immersive visuals and virtual try-ons that would help shoppers dive deeper into an ad and helping users make complex buying decisions that are driven with ai for example if you're trying to buy storage you can tell google what all things are you planning to store and it would predict which option of storage is best for you this is absolutely game changing imagine the conversion rates imagine the nuance with which people would be able to buy things it would just go 10x because now i can easily trust a recommendation because it is having a conversation with me it's almost like having a sales person in real time and in the end showcasing product images and ads right inside youtube shorts now why is all of this important because today traditional businesses that are stuck offline or not ready to evolve will face even tougher competition from companies who upskill and learn these new techniques If you're in the field of marketing or funnels then please be prepared beforehand the way we run ads on Google is going to change forever and it's extremely important that you stay updated next khan academy and microsoft are teaming up to create an ai tool for teachers and students they're calling it khanmego and i apologize if i'm pronouncing it wrong and they're giving it away for free from students at kindergarten to class 12 which is k12 in the us the tool can create quizzes assignment instructions lesson plans and basically help students learn at their own pace now this is very helpful for teachers because now they can use ai to come up with interesting analogies to make complicated topics more fun most teachers struggle with burnout and ai tools can help them cover up tedious work faster than ever so what took 20 hours before will just take 5 hours but the biggest benefits are for students because now they can ask ai whatever they want without feeling shy or embarrassed 24/7 now why is this important teachers across colleges and schools need to embrace ai i know all the arguments and i understand where you're coming from i see so many people repelling this technology they feel like their jobs are going to go away they feel like people are going to get dumb the truth is jobs are getting redefined and just like any other professional teachers also need to evolve for this new definition in fact i would recommend that we should spend all our time teaching teachers that is exactly the way that we would be able to upskill this entire country at scale we have great talent and we are right at the beginning of this precipice if we upskill our teachers if we bring this into the syllabus on time we will be far ahead i've uploaded so many free courses on my youtube channel and on our free learning platform how to prom dot in spending just 30 minutes daily will set you up for this new world please make sure you learn and stay updated with these new changes in fact last to last week we saw openai's new chat gpt 4o model as well and there were so many announcements even by google we've created dedicated videos on both of these events in detail please do not miss them these updates are extremely foundational so if you miss these it'll be tough for you to catch up as things evolve in this quarter now before i go let me share some techniques that will help you learn faster 
The goal of this entire series is to reduce the fear and anxiety most people have about AI and help them prepare for a new world. So number 1, please start converting research papers and articles into a PDF and start analyzing them inside Claude or ChatGPT. When I say analyze, basically just try to understand and read what this means and how is this relevant for you. For example, I can go to this research paper that we just spoke about, press command plus P, save a PDF go to ChatGPT 4.0 or Claude and upload the PDF and paste this exact prompt. After running this prompt, you can also specifically say how is this relevant to a person in the field of finance or in education or in product design and it will tell you how this can be correlated to your exact specific profession. Next. Please make sure that you've finished these foundational AI masterclasses uploaded on our YouTube channel. First one is a complete course on AI, Prompt Engineering and Claude. Next is a masterclass on ChatGPT and Midjourney. And in the end is our career planning video, which is a must for students and people who are just graduating because it will help you get a lot of clarity on which field should you work in. Let me know in the comments if I should continue releasing weekly updates like this. If there's any recommendation, please feel free to email me on admin at the rate Make sure you check out our free learning platforms, howtoprom.in for free AI masterclasses and learnuiux.in for a complete nine week course on product design. All of it is available for free. In fact, make sure you're documenting everything. And if you're confused about documentation, then we just released a course on how I document my own learnings on this tool called Notion. All links will be in description. Click on subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. With that being said, I hope that you're taking care of your mind and body. This is your dost Anshmehra signing out.